Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing Vlogmas, which means a video every day in December, and today is December 4th, so I'm going to do a morning because we're gonna be super busy today. I probably won't be able to get anything in later on today, and I have no more building projects or anything going on, which is what I posted um, these last couple of days. So let's just get into our day. We have friends coming over, so I need to take down this table, move this table back over. You didn't see, we got our island remodeled. It's awesome, it's beautiful. And the kids need to do their morning chores because their friends are going to be here at like 10 o'clock. So we're going to get going right now. Over here on this table, I was making the menu for December. I have most of the things I'm going to make already. I think I decided to go back to grocery shopping like once every week to two weeks. Um, I was doing monthly grocery hauls, but I just think it'll help us a little more to be able to change up meals and just like make more homemade fun type things. So I think if I plan too far ahead, there's no changing anything. And I am just repeating the same meal. And I have been enjoying though, making a bunch of new different things. So we'll see what happens. I'll let y'all know, obviously. Right, guys i am trying to fix these lights that we have under our cabinet here i got these on amazon and they make the house really bright you can see them over there but the stickiness has come off of some actually i think my kids accidentally pulled them off because the cord is so long so yes i need to wipe that up um i am going to glue them on with this anyone else want their house nice and perfect before your guests come that's how i am um and so Things tend to get fixed a lot more when that happens and cleaned. So that's what I'm doing right now. Jolina is straining the goat milk. See how bright that looks? And it, this is how long the cord is, like I was telling you about. So I had to wrap it up on that black thing, but I think that's how it got pulled out when they moved the microwave. The cords get caught and they just yanked it off. Hey, pretty. How's it going? We had a really good freeze the other day and the mint made it because Jocelyn covered it up with some hay. The dill sort of did too. Pretty roses with no roses. Everything over here though pretty much died except for mint again. And my sage made it. The basil did not. <laughs> Here are the quail. Guys, these things are so cute. The other day we had some friends over dropping off some feed and they wanted to see the quail and I opened the quail door and a quail flew out. <laughs> now we have three cats, one dog that roams free and the dog just happened to be around. Thankfully the cat wasn't because the cat would have just caught it and literally bit into it and killed it right away. And my dog saw it and so he started chasing it and at first I was scared. If y'all have seen my video, I have this video of my chicken attacking my chickens and killing them. It was this dog that we had and we disciplined him for killing the chickens and he has not killed the chickens since. And he basically corrals the chickens now and sends them back where they're supposed to be but he doesn't like viciously rip them apart and try and eat them. 
So when he went after the quail though, my first instinct was like, no, stop him. And then I was like, no, let him, he'll catch it because the quail, quails can fly. So this quail flew away from me and then ran away and then flew over the back fence and the dog knows how to get in there really quickly. So he did and my daughter jumped the fence too at the same time and the dog pawed the quail down and my daughter took it from him. And of course he's afraid because he thinks, oh no, I'm going to get it because I get in trouble when I catch chickens or whatever. Um, but he didn't get in trouble. My daughter got the quail and handed it to me and we put it back. And then of course I praised him and everything. He was like, oh yeah, I did a good job, <laughs> which he did. So that discipline worked for my dog. I know some people say it doesn't work for theirs, but I do think it depends on the breed you have. Some breeds are bred to catch birds, kill birds, and help you hunt birds, while others are meant to guard animals. And I'm not saying like all large LGD dogs can be trained to do this, um, but mine was, and so he was redeemed, and he gets to stay on the farm, and he lives here with us, and we are very happy with him. Here's my male quail. Jesse's talking about clipping their wings. That might be a good idea. You think we should? Yeah. Joe, can you go get scissors? Why is he becoming bald? I don't know. Maybe he's shedding. See. What do you want with it, Sultan? Is that where it goes? Good boy. Oh, I showed you on one of my last videos. We got a new puppy. This is Hokma. The name means wise in Hebrew. And so I want a wise dog. And I like naming things that... Um, have meaning to them not just a cute fun name but hopefully he will be wise on the property and do his job and not hurt any of the animals but I got him because things keep um, hurting my goats and so I want him to live back there when he's a little bigger and right now he is in training he needs to be able to come on command sit when I tell him to and they're doing a few other tricks which I really don't care if they learn but like right now he just told him to sit and that's really important for me especially when they're jumping up and stuff that they obey <laughs> Hi, pretty. <laughs> Are you going back? Is she upset you didn't put her back? She's going back in the back pasture. We are literally in my backyard. See that? So like right here. But anyways, like I was saying, they do other tricks with him. But all I want is for my dog to stay on my property, take care of my animals, come when I call it, and sit when I need him to. And that's it. Jocelyn's saying she's going to try and teach the puppy how to herd. I honestly have a lot of confidence in her because she does a lot of things she says she's going to do. <laughs> mm, yeah, we're going to clip your wings. You're so pretty. Oh, Sultan! He doesn't hurt them. He just jumps up at them. See? He jumped up in a pretty face and looked at her nose. Oh. Are you trying to get her to kick you in the face? You don't jump up on the cow. Oh. Good job. See? <laughs> Down. Good boy. Good boy. I wonder what he wants with them. Right, we'll I don't know, he probably thinks they're to squeaky toys. No, he doesn't. <laughs> they don't squeak when he catches them. See? It's a bird. Be nice. Okay. I need you to take him because I'm pretty sure he wants it to go back in the... You missed a feather. Well, it's not going to fly away with one feather. <laughs> it just looks ugly. Okay. Joe, can you get Sultan over there? Is this a boy? Did you just peck me? <laughs> That one right there hasn't gotten clipped, has it? Right there? No, it's a completely tan one. It looks like you That one right there hasn't gotten clipped. No, that tan one right there. That's it.
looks like a dove in my opinion. Come on, Sultan. Joe, go, 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 go. Oh, he has one. Sultan. Good job. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. See, I got it. He's like, I almost escaped. I was about to be free. Man, those things can fly. They're fast, right? Did you hear what Jed said? What? Mom's scared of kitty. I'm scared of the cats getting these. This one's pretty, Mama. Yeah, it is. Nope, you should just open the wings. But... Don't cut too close to the second one. I like those. Okay. an apron that has a bunch of pockets for an egg and he doesn't want to wear it. He says those are for girls. <laughs> I think it's a bad idea. Lean against the coop and smash all your eggs. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What if you accidentally hit something then or you while have... while you're walking, you're kicking the eggs with your thighs. I don't think that would be bad. I mean, if it works for her, it'd probably work for other people. Well, you have to take, you have to take every single egg and we have so many eggs, you'd be like, take the eggs. Yeah. There's no way that would work for us. We get way too many eggs, and he would bump something and crack an egg in the apron. And like he said, it's for girls. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of our morning vlog. And I will share a new video with y'all tomorrow. Y'all take care. Have a good day, December, whatever. Bye. I had to show you our lunch because the way the food looks on the counter is so pretty.